Each of the following lessons will explore one of the automation studio components used to create automation solutions. In this video, we'll introduce those components briefly. Let's start with screen elements. Our automation solution interacts with components of the CRM system, such as buttons and fields. Every component of the CRM that the solution interacts with must be captured as a screen element. A wizard is provided for capturing screen elements. Once done, the screen element is added to your project for use. The screen elements are explained in lesson three. Next, let's talk about variables. As in any coding environment, Automation Studio allows you to define variables for storing information. In our solution, a variable is used to keep track of how many accounts the agent has created. Variables are created using a simple wizard. Once created, they are listed in your project. Variables are explained in lesson 4. Now, let's move on to functions. A function is a single instruction that the solution must perform. Automation Studio provides an extensive list of built-in functions under built-in services. For example, there is a function that lets you copy text to the clipboard and another to run a Windows command. Additionally, methods are provided for screen elements and for other solution assets. For example, each button screen element has a click method that can be used to automate clicking that button. To use a function or method, simply drag it in from the assets tree. You can also create your own user-defined functions. This user-defined function checks if all the fields are complete when the agent clicks create account. Functions are explained in lesson 5. Events are closely related to the functions. An event is raised when some change occurs. For example, the project loaded event is raised when the automation project is loaded on the agent's machine. You can create an event handler that will trigger a series of actions when an event is raised. This event handler will wait until the project loaded event is raised. When that event is raised, the functions in the do section are performed. Events and event handlers are explained in the second half of Lesson 5. Attended automation solutions, such as our example solution, often need to obtain information from the agent and display information to the agent. This is done by displaying a pop-up window called a callout. The form that the agent completes in our solution is a callout. Callouts are created by dragging controls onto a blank canvas. All that remains is to apply some formatting and you're done. Callouts are explained in Lesson 6. When you want to automate a defined series of steps to complete a task, you'll need to define a workflow. At the macro level, a workflow consists of any number of steps. Each step represents one phase of the task a human would perform. To describe how to perform each step, click the step and then drag in the required actions. Workflows are explained in Lesson 7. Once you've built your solution, you're going to have to test it thoroughly before uploading it to agents' machines for pilot testing. Automation Studio lets you test out your solution on the same machine you developed the solution on. Testing and debugging is explained in Lesson 8. Lesson 8 also explains how to manage your project files. In the lessons that follow you'll explore the solution in more depth. By the end of the course you'll be able to develop your own automation solutions from start to finish. Thank you for watching.